Hello there. I wanted to share with you um, Comic Book Math Fun Schooling Journal by Sarah Brown. Um, these are adding, writing, and subtracting games. They're written in a kind of Minecrafty, boxy, pixely uh, format in the art to appeal to uh, especially young comic and Minecraft fans. So let's get into it. There's some coloring involved as well. Um, here's some number ordinal numbers. These are neat. You can write a story about them below, or kind of tells a little story in the end. Write a short story about the picture. This is number sequences. Complete the missing ones. Here are some kind of like number addition subtraction squares for practice with some pictorial things for assistance, which is really great for right and left brain to children. Um, here's some dice where you're figuring out the total, so a good math skill to know, and one that we really haven't done a whole lot of, to be honest. So here's a counting by twos up here. And there's another. There's a bunch of little math games hidden in all these pictures as well. So can you solve each math mystery? So there's some sets of squares, and some of them the first answer is given, some that they aren't, and you go through and solve that. Okay. And make your own math mysteries on with these characters. These are really good. Um, these are going to be so good. Our son is going to use these for math practice. Here's some more sequencing down here. Here's some math mysteries to make. Here's some counting by twos practice up here. So the, the, each page is really filled with a lot of different puzzles and a lot of picture puzzles for um, those of you who are dealing with, uh, you know, having to overcome some dyslexic tendencies. Some more mysteries, some coloring. Here's some mysteries you can make your own, what do these things equal. And then at the bottom there's some things to solve based on whatever you say those things equal. So some very picture oriented math, which is really fun. This is kind of a nice precursor if you uh, haven't seen my video on the uh, Math Genius book. This is definitely um, some of these with these puzzles is an early early math genius uh, type of, of thing and, and the math genius book I really like so um, I like that this is kind of like a younger level. Here's a number line which that's another thing we haven't done a whole lot of. It's counting by twos above and below. So here the answers are given and they're lined up. Um, you could cover this if you wanted um, and have the child work through it. And It says to use a calculator a parent to check answers. And the next page, they're not lined up anymore. I suppose they can still check back there, but then the page after that, all guides are taken off uh, and they're not lined up. So um, really helps uh, the child to, I guess they're kind of diagonal, um, some of them, not all of them. So it helps the child to gradually go away from having an aid to do the problems. Making your own math mystery on one page and the other page is problem solving and this could really help um, this is going to help our son do his math faster um, he's he's really pretty good at math but um, this will help his problem solving and the, the artwork is definitely more geared some of it is cute and what could gear, you know be more like this could be more uh, a girl might like that better but um, there's some more mechanical type things and right, this is uh, some creative writing prompts right here writing little stories our son really has awesome handwriting but he hates it so this could be a good way to just write a couple sentences about the story I think part of the thing with him is he wants to like write out the whole story but that's too much work so because he has all these really long stories in his head so here's some that have word bubbles, which he's starting to do more and more where he'll won't write a story, but he'll at least have thought in word word 
quotes and thought bubbles and stuff. Here's some math practice pages with some coloring that would appeal to a comic Minecraft type kid. There's even a Minecraft picture to color, Minecrafty picture that I skipped. Anyway, <clears throat> and there's some little coloring pages at the end, more math practice. And there you have it. This is, um, once again, this is Comic Book Math by Thinking Tree by Sarah Brown. The size of this book, by the way, I didn't mention that, but it's it's about, this is like the full-sized mom's handbook that I'm going to show you next. And it's, it's about, um, oh, I don't know, two-thirds of the size, something like that. Work my own math in there. And uh, so you can see it's a little bit shorter and a little bit less wide than the mom's one, so there you have it.